Hey, I'm Miner with RPS Solar Pumps, and today we're going to be talking about the Tankless Pressure Pump 750. Get this cardboard out of the way. In your kit, you'll find 20 feet of solar extension wire. a tankless pressure pump 750 manual, you also get battery jumper connection cables necessary to wire up your battery bank, you also get a set of Y connectors used to help string up solar panels. You'll also get a roll of plumber's tape. Helpful for making those watertight connections. Now onto the big stuff. We have our tankless pressure pump 750 in its own box. And you'll get the tankless pressure pump 750 controller. So let's start off by opening the Tankless Pressure Pump 750. Oh, there we go. Put up the box. So inside you're finding your Tankless Pressure Pump 750 and a hook tool to help prime from the top of the Tankless Pressure Pump. Get all this packaging off. Next, let's take a look at the main components of the TPP 750. Here we have our one and a quarter inch threaded female inlet. And then here we have our one inch threaded female outlet. This is the tankless pressure pump 750 priming screw. And on the front, you have your screen with uh, your pressable buttons and settings for the tankless pressure pump itself. The TPP 750 comes adapted with a power cord, either suitable for 110 or 220 AC operation. Next up, let's take a look at the TPP750 controller. There we go. So your TPP750 controller is responsible for taking the incoming power coming from the solar panels and the battery bank and converting it into either 110 or 240 AC for your respective pump. So going over the components of the controller here, on this side we have our positive and negative male and female connectors for our solar panels. And this is where you'll tie in your solar panel array to provide solar power juice for the controller. In the center here we have pre-wired our battery cables, which are going to go onto the two ends of our overall battery bank, along with the breaker for a safe installation. We also have on the side of the controller here, the power toggle switch located just underneath the solar panel array connections. And this is what's going to actually have the controller power on and output juice for your pump. And finally we have the connection cord, which will correspond with the male connection off of your tankless pressure pump. Your TPP750 pump and controller are both compatible with 240 AC input. The pump can either be run directly off of AC without the aid of the controller, or you can wire in AC power directly into the control box unit to help supply power to your pump and your batteries. So this has been an overview of the tankless pressure pump 750 and all of the components that come with it. If you have any solar questions, leave them in the comments below and they'll be featured in a future video or we'll answer them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're producing new content every week. So hit that notification button and subscribe to the videos to stay up to date on the latest solar pumping news.